Welcome to the demo of the Intel i860. In this case, it's on a DSM card plugged into the ESA slot of my Compaq Best Pro 2000, pretty standard for the 1990s. So this is the system. And now let's see it running. So on the screen, you see this is a pretty standard Intel Pentium 133 MHz. So I'm loading the executable using the DSM server program, which is loading a binary into the RAM of the card. So here you see the output where it's in the memory and stuff. So it's still running and is executing and it's going back to the shell. So I, I'm free to start other DOS programs. In this case, I'm using a Turbo Pascal program communicating with the card and exchanging data back and forth. So that's running, and there you see this is a Mandelbrot. Great surprise. As you can see, it's pretty fast. It's uh, VGA, 8 bit deep, and the whole Mandelbrot just took about, if you can read it, 8.2 seconds to calculate. That's a 40 megahertz i860, um, and that's pretty fast for such a machine. It's running on hundred iterations. Um, just for the fun of it, I'm increasing that to 200 iterations, uh, which changes a bit the, uh, in the color map. And you see it's still pretty fast. I'm not showing the time in the corner up there, but it's about like 14 seconds. Just to give you a better feeling how fast that was compared to a standard machine of those times, which runs a 486 at 33 megahertz, running that on a Pentium, which is obviously much faster than the 486 was back then. So we're using a standard Mandelbrot program, which normally runs on a transputer, but also on a host. So we're running just on the host, same specs. And as you can see later on, the Pentium is still slower than the i86 at just 40 megahertz. So this calculation takes about like 15 seconds. So thank you for watching and visit my webpage at geekdot.com. Bye.